Hello everyone, this is Uno Assassin. I finally got uh, this little add on board completed and figured out what the problem was. I had uh, some issues with uh, my two caps right here. I had to replace those. Been busy working too, so. But uh, got it all together and it works. But I got it uh, hooked up here. Let me uh, kind of go over here. I've got a cooling fan for a uh, radiator hooked up to it. I want to pull it on. You can hear that high-pitched whine. I'm going to explain to you what that is here. I'll get this back over here on my unit and get dialed back in here a little bit. So Okay, that wine is going to kind of try to help people out maybe a little bit don't know what frequency is. That's what you're hearing in that motor. That motor seems to amplify the frequency. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the frequency pot, which is this one right here. You'll be able to hear this as I adjust it. doesn't change the speed of the motor it changes the frequency of how many times that's on and off so that's what you're hearing is the amount of time that it's switching on and off in a given amount of time so this is a slow frequency here it's staying on for a long time then shuts off for a long time then off for a bit. as you turn it up the frequency gets faster and faster and faster. You can hear this in the MOSFETs, if you can hear them. Uh, hard hearing people like myself. Nah, I don't hear it very well unless I've got my ear right down there on it. But to kind of help explain what frequency is, when they talk about frequency in a cell, it's how many times it's getting hit for a given time. And it, it makes the plates and reaction in the cell do things that are good and bad. <laughs> so you can hear that. Hear that pretty good. I always set mine right in the middle. Uh, so uh, it's a 20 turn pot. Just go all the way, max one way, and come back 10 turns, 10, 10 and a half turns. And that will be pretty close to where you want it. Now, I was telling you about a feature on this that uh, Mr. Uh, H2O2 from H2O did. It happens to be this little chip right here. What it is, it's a jumper. It's got, it's just a little plug and two little pins. This is the bypass this unit. If you take it off and jump right over, it goes full power. So, it gives you a little bit of a adjustability so you can check things and then take it back off without having to readjust your pots and do all this stuff you can jumper it out really a cool thing so like I said it's just a simple little jumper anybody that's been in computers have probably seen these on their motherboards and uh, so kind of a neat thing so there you go guys this little board right here makes these MOSFETs run quite cool um, this has a little fan on the bottom it cools my capacitors over here that I was telling you about. I can't flip it over because i got alligator clips hanging on it. But my capacitors are mounted underneath like I showed on the second video. The fan, 
blows cooler around everything down here. Keeps it outside of the box. Keeps the box cooler when you get it closed up. There's no ventilation in it, so the MOSFETs will warm it up in there pretty good. So, there you go. There is a PWM upgrade, zero plus fuel upgrade to a very nice little uh, square wave vet driver. You really want to have something that's going to work, this will work. This will run the 35 amp system and have no heating problems. You won't be burning boards up. You won't be hurting yourself having to replace the PWM or having somebody fix it and then have it do it again. So, do see it. Said He's on uh, YouTube. H2O from H2, H2O2 from H2O. And uh, he has a website. He has all this stuff is free access. It's open sourcing. He tells you and shows you everything to, to build his boards, buy his boards, complete units, self build. It, really a cool place to go. And he's working on some very neat stuff. And this is one that he does sell, so you can get it very reasonable uh, so stop by and see him like I said that is H2O2 from H2O if you google that Bing it whatever you have and uh, just look for it it'll be I think his website is www.h2o from h2o oregonsouth.com I think that's it so just remember H2O2 from H2O dot Oregon South dot com. Something like that. So just look for that. Check him out. Good stuff. Said yeah, this ready to go back to my good friend Daryl in Portland. And uh, he can start doing some stuff with the PWM finally. I'm awful slow, but I finally get there. So this is uh, Uno Assassin. You guys have a good time, and I hope this helps everybody out there. And like I said, this this really does help out Zero Fossil Field Board. Now, I know Zero has, I think, has incorporated this into his new units. So, and he doesn't open source that but if you guys have an old unit or something like this unit from like I said wherever this is from over there in Europe grab this little board simple to put in makes you a nice unit so guys thanks for tuning in hope this helps everybody out you guys have a good day this is Uno out bye now